Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a lawn mower which is driven by a small gasoline engine. Because of the small size, these machines cannot accommodate large batteries for the ignition system. Then, what kind of ignition system do they have? Well, they use the magneto ignition system which is our topic for today. In this video, we are going to discuss what a magneto ignition system is, its construction, working, advantages and disadvantages. The ignition system which uses a magneto which is a small electrical generator driven by the engine as the source of ignition is known as a magneto ignition system. The construction and the working of the magneto ignition system is almost similar to that of the battery coil ignition system. A magneto ignition system consists of a magneto, an ignition switch, a contact breaker, a capacitor, a distributor and spark plugs. The magneto consists of a permanent magnet. It also has primary and secondary windings wound on it. Magneto are of three types, an armature rotating type, a magnet rotating type and a polar inductor type. The magneto in which the armature rotates and the magnet is held stationary is known as an armature rotating type. The magneto in which the armature is held stationary and the magnet rotates is known as the magnet rotating type. If both the magnet and the armature are fixed and the voltage is produced by reversing the flux field, then it is said to be a polar inductor type. The next component is an ignition switch for switching on or off the system. Then we have a contact breaker which establishes and breaks the contact in the circuit and a capacitor, a charge storage device, is used for preventing the breaker points from damage. In case of single cylinder engines, the secondary coil is directly connected to the spark plug. A distributor is used in case of multi-cylinder engines and it's of two types, a carbon brush type and a gap type. If the rotor arm slides over the metallic electrode in the distributor, it is said to be a carbon brush type distributor. On the other hand, if there is a gap between the rotor arm and the electrodes, then it is said to be a gap type distributor. Next to the distributor, we have spark plugs which ignite the air fuel mixture. Now, let's move on to the construction. One end of the primary coil is connected to the ignition switch and the other end is connected to one end of the contact breaker. The other end of the contact breaker is grounded and the capacitor is connected in parallel with it. The secondary winding is connected to the rotor of the distributor and the metallic electrodes in the distributors are connected to the spark plug. Now, how does the system work? First, the ignition switch is kept on. When the magnet rotates, the flux linkage with the coil changes which in turn develops an EMF in the primary coil. Because of this induced EMF, a low current flows in the primary coil. It flows through the contact breaker until it opens. As soon as the contact breaker opens, the circuit becomes open and the current starts flowing through the capacitor. This in turn changes the magnetic field around the primary coil which induces a high voltage in the secondary coil. Because of this, a high current flow to the distributor from the secondary coil takes place. The current is carried to the central electrode of spark plug through the metallic electrode. Due to the high potential difference between the electrodes of spark plug, the gap between them will get ionized. This results in the formation of a spark. Well, this is how the magneto ignition system works. This system occupies less space and the cost of maintenance is also very less. But as the magneto is driven by the engine, the voltage produced will be less at low speeds, which results in a low intensity spark, especially during starting. So that's all about the magneto coil ignition system. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Until the next one, bye.